Ladies and gentlemen, keep it going. Welcome your next guest, Jesse Daniel. <laughs> Vancouver response. Chilled silence. <laughs> Don't feel bad. Everyone does it. It's to be expected. It's not even a real word, not even a real proper like, greeting. Hello, you don't say hello to someone who's like, hi, how are you? It's uh, you know nice to meet you. Hello is just a noise that we make. <laughs> we want people to know that we've been around. But we're here. And whatever patch of dirt we're on belongs to us. Hello is a human equivalent of like a dog chained to a fence in a part of the town that you don't want to go to. Just yelling, I'm here, I'm here, this is mine, mine, go away. You know, like, that's what hello is. Hello is a lifted leg. <laughs> Been around for a couple hundred years ever since we invented the telephone. Originally it wasn't supposed to be what we said. Originally it was going to be ahoy. Which I like because I look like this. Um, <laughs> take it in. <laughs> But Ahoy lost out to hello because housewives and women of note didn't want to sound like a stranded sea captain squeezing a lemon to his eye and eating an oyster. So, no, it's Ahoy. It's too close to R. You know, no, no one wants to be a pirate. They just want to answer the phone with some dignity. So it's, it's a derivative of, of the Shakespearean hail. And I, I don't mean that in quite such a German way. Um, it's another thing that Nazis fucked up. Charlie Chaplin, mustaches, knee-high boots, and hail. That's uh, three things that I'm, well, two things I'm good at. I can't grow a mustache to save my fucking life. And I'll speak to you about that later. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's a terrible thing to say to someone, hello. It's a violent greeting, full of expectation. <laughs> Pick up the phone, hello, ah. It's loosely translated, when you say hello, it's back to someone. It's what the fuck do you want? You know, hello is something someone says to you on a corner with a clipboard. After you cross the street from their friend with a clipboard. I hate those fucking people. Look at me, like, I'm walking in the rain in Vancouver. I have no money. I would be, you know, leave me alone. Hello. Um, but um, November's upon us. Hooray for all you people that can grow facial hair. Aren't you special? I can. Give us a cheer, anyone who's grown a mustache. Yeah. Three guys and one Italian chick. Fantastic. <laughs> Shit, I have got this face. I look like a cartoon out of time and dimension. You know, it's like, I'm 34 years old. I look like an infant that's rotting. <laughs> like a Sith toddler. Like Star Wars geeks. You know, a lot of age and sadness around the eyes. The rest, just a failed math test. A lot of, you know, spheres just combined in an unnatural way. But I can't, and, and Vancouver's got such beard culture. Everyone's, oh, grow a beard, look like a man. Fuck you. <laughs> can't do it. If I try and grow, like, it's terrible. If I try and grow a beard, I look like, you know, I look like a, well, a mustache even. I've got like a 12-year-old's first six pubes on my upper lip. It's, you know, it doesn't smell great, and it's not a good look, but I, if I try and grow a mustache, I look like I've got my pubes on a 12-year-old's upper lip. That's what's that sounding like people. That's like, there's a lot of people here who have to go and knock on their neighbors when they move into a new neighborhood. I'm not laughing at that. They'll know it's me. <laughs> but I live up in like the commercial drive area, and everyone up there has got a big mustache that looks, you know, like it's part of a bicycle from the 18th century. <laughs> it's the worst. You know, walk down the street, and what are you? Well, I'm 1867, coming to life. <laughs> well, fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm in kindergarten for the 45th time. <laughs> but this year I tried to figure out, like, how do I look more like a man? You know, how do I make this into, you know, something that a woman will touch? Uh, you know, apart from money, because that's not an option at this point. 
So I, you know, I, I go to the gym, start going to the gym, try and transform this into something that is hard in some places rather than soft everywhere. Uh, and I hate it. It's the worst part of every morning. It's so nice to be able to swear at inanimate things that can't hit you back. But my problem with the gym is, is twofold. One, I mean, everywhere else in life, 20 pounds is a lot of weight. If you buy 20 pounds of marshmallows, that's an absurd amount. <laughs> if I have 20 pounds of laundry, I'm single. <laughs> but apparently, when I lift 20 pounds of cold rolled steel that they make the size of a hot dog, I'm a pussy. <laughs> Which is not fair! That's terrible. Um, it's, every man knows when it's time to start going to the gym based on one thing. And women think that, you know, it's when you can't see your feet. It's long before that. We men know based on how we get out of the shower. And it's how you put your towel on. Because when you put your towel on out of the shower, if you're in good shape, it goes around the hips. And you just calibrate your watch for a minute. <laughs> You've been eating a little bit too much, a little bit higher. But as a man, if you get out of the shower and you put your towel on above the nipples, <laughs> You're gonna change everything in your fucking life. <laughs> My name's Jesse Daniel. You guys have been a whole lot of fun. You're a great